Hi everyone and welcome to our Learn to Play Ascendance of Aetheros or AOA. My name is Rudy. I'm Matthew. And in this series, we'll be teaching you how to set up the game, the four different card types. We'll be also talking about the turn phases, effect resolution and play timings. We'll also have a gameplay video. In this episode, we'll be covering an unboxing which we will show you what you will get in a single set of AOA. We'll be also showcasing some artwork that we that game. So without further ado, let's go into the unboxing. Alright guys, let's jump into the unboxing. You'll notice that it's a box that isn't that big, just slightly smaller than the size of my hand. So let's take a look what we have inside. So first thing you see is the Ascendance of Aetheros rulebook. All the detailed rules are inside if you have the time. Read through it and you become an expert in no time. Now for players who don't really want to rush or take the time out to read the rulebook and are in a rush, here's a quick play sheet that has all the things you need to get started. The setup and the turn phase. Next up, we have the Communal Domain Playmat. The more experienced players of AOA might not need this, but this is a really good beginning for anyone who's just started. It teaches you where to put your things, such as the Sky Shard deck, Action Card deck, its discard pile, Lightbringer deck, and its discard pile, and the Sky Shard deck discard piles where the legendary Lightbringers go, and to make sure that you always have 5 Sky Shards on the Communal Domain. Up next, we have not one, but four paper playmats for players. So let me show you what's on a player paper playmat. So this is also really good for beginners. It teaches you everything you need to know intuitively, where your Empyrean goes and that the maximum number of light bringers you may recruit is five. In case you forget your turn phase or what you can do, it's written right at the bottom and some frequently asked questions right here. This area is where you'll be putting all your sky shards. Last but not least, of course, we have the 153 cards needed to play the game. So here you can see the card backs of the sky shards and the action cards. Of course, the light bringers and empyreans are in the game. So isn't it amazing that everything you need is in this box that's smaller than my hand. This box is easy to carry around anywhere, easy to set up, and easy to have fun. We hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video of Ascendance of Aetheros. So that's all we have for you for this episode. Do check out the rest of the videos in the series below. Or follow the link right at the bottom to go to our main website for more detailed information about the game. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.